So, Ms. Keith, uh, one thing that you were very passionate about in there is the first question. When the gentleman asked you about, he's called it a genocide, I believe, and, and about Planned Parenthood funding, what can you say? And, and I have to say, my mic probably didn't pick up your comments very well. So, what could you tell our listeners about uh, why you feel how you feel? Well, I start from the premise that his definition of you know genocide of humans um, starts from an assumption that I agree with, which is that uh, you know early gestation fetus is, is a human in the sense that we use it in our lexicon. Uh, I don't agree with that because I don't agree with that. I'm never going to land where he lands. Um, I also take issue with him trying to make it a racial issue. I mean, his suggestion is that uh, you know this is a genocide of black people. I felt like, but did not, in fact, challenge him on the question of whether he would be willing to pay his tax dollars for those kids to be raised. Because see, that's not something he wants to do. The bottom line is, um, it's how you frame the question that's going to get you the answer that you, the perspective from which you come. My view is that there's no chapter of my life in which I am comfortable with the government stepping into my life and telling me what I can and cannot do. Uh, at no point do I cede every single drop of my citizenship to the government or to any other entity. So what goes on in my body is my business. They don't even know what's happening. No, you know, you don't even know what's happening. Their discomfort is a psychic discomfort. You know, any more than they would know if I had a miscarriage. They don't know that, and it does not affect them. And so for them to say, I'm going to tell you what you can or can't do because of my psychic discomfort, is problematic. All right, thanks so much for your time. Yeah.